Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notification. So allegedly the executives over at the scammies are not too happy with Nicki Minaj because she spoke out against super freaky girl not being in the rap categories. And allegedly the scammies they were sending her an olive branch. She was going to get invited to the 2023 Scammies. She also was going to be nominated. And if you guys remember, they never nominated anything from Queen in 2018. Okay? She didn't get no nominations. So they were extending the olive branch to Nicki Minaj. And they're not happy that the moment that they extended that olive branch, she basically puts them on blast. So that's why they're upset because they did not give her no nominations. She submitted music. She submitted Chung Lee. Okay? And then she also submitted the album Queen for best, you know, rap album. And basically, she didn't get any of those submissions, you know, they basically treated her how they treated Bia, you know, cause Bia, um, submitted a whole lot of money last year and she didn't get no nominations and a whole lot of money was one of the biggest songs in 2021. So with that being said, you know, they're not happy with Nicki Minaj cause they feel like she shitted on them basically. So, you know, let me know how you guys feel about that. You know, a lot of people in the industry, they do not like that Nicki Minaj is super vocal every time something goes bad. They want her to act like, you know, the Queen Bee. You know, when people come after the Queen Bee, most of the time she's pretty quiet. You know, she speaks up every once in a while, but she usually is pretty quiet, especially when it comes to the scammies. She has not complained once about not winning album of the year and Adele and other artists winning, you know, over her, even though her album was the better album. Okay. So, you know, let me know how you guys feel about that. And if you guys believe that Nicki Minaj could possibly get blacklisted from the Grammys again. Moving on to Scratch Off. So it looks like Ebro from Hot 97. He was under Baller Alert's comments, you know, when everything was going down. And he said, stop tweeting and record some raps. This is an opportunity for Lotto to sharpen her sword. So he's telling Lotto that this is an opportunity for her to, you know, get some diss songs cracking and basically improve her pen game. Okay, because that's what he wrote under Baller Alert. He said, this is her opportunity to um, sharpen her sword. Now, let me know how you guys feel about that. Do you feel like Lotto can come up with a diss song to Nicki Minaj? I don't know. I feel like Lotto's pen game ain't that great, to be quite honest, okay? Um, and actually, a reference track leaked onto social media. Shall we take a listen? I think we should. When I need clarity, they ain't got empathy for me, they stare at me They use my cash when they needed the therapy Took what they needed but never took care of me They saw a dollar sign, treat me like currency Kill off their hopes and dreams that they won't murder me So this is um a clip of the reference track from Sunshine, okay? Which was supposed to be, you know, the next single You know, RCA sent that to radio, but it flopped Um, And I'm still waiting on the Nicki Minaj reference tracks I haven't heard nothing where are the Nicki Minaj reference tracks that lottery ticket claim that she heard? Okay, because if Nicki Minaj had reference tracks, right, don't you think they would have leaked by now? I mean, there's reference tracks of Queen B, there's reference tracks of Drizzy Drake with Quentin Miller. Okay, no shade. There's reference tracks of Cardi B. Where's the reference tracks of Nicki Minaj? Now, and I remember Safari claiming that he wrote for Nicki Minaj, but he had no reference tracks. So I find it interesting that everybody else's reference tracks leak, but not Nicki Minaj's. And that's because they don't really exist. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion, it looks like Megan might be going on a hiatus. 
her L.A. home was recently robbed. And she said that, you know, material things can be replaced. But I'm glad that everyone was safe because she was not at her L.A. home at the time. You know, she's traveling, performing everywhere. And then she said, hotties, I'm really sorry. But after SNL, I really got to take a break. I'm so tired physically and emotionally. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, what I find interesting is, you know, even though like Megan, she does all these shows, she does all these festivals, people still don't buy her music. I find that to be very odd. Like it don't matter how many shows she does, how many brand deals she gets, it still don't really translate into sales. I find that to be very interesting. And the same thing with Sweetie. So I'm wondering who is telling them that, If you do all these shows that people are going to buy your music or who is telling, you know, her that if you do all these brand deals, you know, people are going to buy your music because it's just not translating. I don't I don't really understand that. Barty says she is going to pull up on the Queen Bee because Queen Bee sent her some flowers for her 30th birthday. All right, bitch, because motherfucking Beyonce sent me some motherfucking flowers. At this point, I'm about to pull up to the house <laughs> with some with some vegan cupcakes or something. <laughs> Thank you so much. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, fans are saying that Queen B and Barty are besties now. Now, what I think happened is Cardi B invited um, Queen B to her birthday party. As we know, Queen B never showed up, but instead. She gave her some flowers. Now, um, you know, Queen B did the same thing to Kim and Kanye. She didn't go to their wedding, but she sent them some flowers as a nice gesture. So let me know if you guys think that Barty and Queen B are besties now. Moving on from that, though, it looks like Doja and SZA have gotten shelved. It has been reported that SZA was scheduled to release shirt. This Friday, October 14th, but it seems to have been postponed again. The song would have been announced as a collaboration with Dolce Cat with the singer in a bloodstained blouse wearing a butterfly necklace. Okay, so it looks like SZA is being shelved over there at RCA and they are stopping her um, collaboration with Dolja Cat, which I feel like is a missed opportunity because I feel like that would do really well on the charts. And it's definitely going to be like an R&B pop song for Dolja Cat. Kiss Me More was very successful. So I feel like it's a missed opportunity. And RCA, in my opinion, they have no idea what they're doing. How do you have um, Normani, Flo Millie, and SZA on your label and you don't even push them? And they're talented. Like, that is just stupid. And then they also used to have Tanaja until she left they ass because they weren't pushing her. You know, they have no clue what they're doing over there. They need to get shut down. That's what needs to happen. Moving on to Carisha and Ashanti who ruined the song Gotta Move On, which was originally Diddy and um, Bryson Tiller's song. And I'm just wondering why they had to ruin it when it was already fine, okay? I like that song, um, especially Bryson Tiller. I mean, he's super talented. Diddy rapping was a no for me, but I just skipped his part. And then it's like Carisha, she kind of ruined a song. I It's like, it's supposed to be like a breakup song. And she talking about her new nigga, Richard. Of course, she talking about money and, you know, hoeing around like she usually does. And then Ashanti, she's dissing um, Irv Gotti, but nobody really cares. Um, So I feel like they need to stay away from R&B songs. I can't believe Diddy thought this sounded good, but knowing Diddy, he's a clout chaser now. So I'm not really shocked, but um, it was trash. Okay. So the Gotta Move On remix is garbage. Okay. I was expecting more from Ashanti, but you dissing Irv, like nobody cares. That relationship is like 30 years old. And I understand because he was talking shit, but you didn't even sound good on this song. Like it's a breakup song and it just wasn't giving no shade. Um, So anyway, like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.